Hey everyone, Ashley here, and today I'm excited to share my thoughts on the brand new iPhone 16 Pro Max in this stunning desert titanium finish. So I've been using it for a full week now, and I thought it's time I give you my honest thoughts one week in. So first off, let's talk about this color. Apple calls it desert titanium, and it's supposed to evoke an image of sand. But to me, it's giving off some serious subtle peach vibes. It's definitely unique and stands out from the usual iPhone colors, even though it's not as bold as some of us might have hoped. As always, I think we all wish Apple would give us more vibrant colors on the Pro series like they do with the base models, but I would say I personally do like the Desert Titanium. I think overall the phone is elegant and understated. The Titanium design itself is unchanged from last year. It still feels super premium and solid in the hand. Now, this year, this iPhone is slightly heavier than the 15 Pro Max, about 16 grams more. You'll definitely notice the difference if you hold the phones side by side, but honestly, the new weight and size don't bother me at all. It still feels comfortable to hold and use. Now, speaking of size, this is the largest iPhone ever with a 6.9 inch display. Now, Apple achieved this increase by making the device slightly bigger and also slimming down the bezels around the screen. Other than the size, the screen itself is largely the same. It's still the Liquid Retina XDR display with an OLED panel delivering those superb colors, contrast, and good peak brightness of 2000 nits we've come to expect. Side by side with the 15 Pro Max, you can really see the difference in size. I think this bigger screen is fantastic for watching videos, browsing the web, but I can't help feeling that Apple missed an opportunity here. I really wish that they would have introduced a split screen view to fully utilize that extra screen real estate. It just feels like we're not making the most of the larger display. Now with a bigger phone comes a bigger battery and I'm happy to say that the battery life has been pretty solid for me. I've been able to reach up to nine hours of screen on time, which is great for everyday use. Now, of course your mileage may vary depending on how you use your phone. So definitely keep that in mind. But one thing that's been getting a lot of attention is this new thing. Apple refuses to call it a button, but it's essentially what it is, a customizable camera control. Now, the position is a bit awkward, so I think it was definitely designed with horizontal shooting in mind. But to be honest, I really need to get used to it or even remember that it's there since on my iPhone 15 Pro, I used the action button to open the camera. So while this new control offers more functionality, I didn't really need a dedicated button for that. But hey, options are always good, right? So what do you guys think of the new camera control? Have you found any clever uses for it? Let me know in the comments below. Now let's talk about Apple intelligence. So Apple made a big deal about it during the keynote, promising a revolutionary AI assistant that would transform how we interact with our phones. It's supposed to seamlessly integrate into various apps and tasks, offering personalized suggestions, automating routines, and even generating creative content. But here's the thing, it's not actually available to the public yet. It's slated to roll out later this fall. So those using the iOS beta have early access, but I prefer to wait for the official release to see how well it performs in the real world. And if you have an iPhone 15 Pro, you don't need to upgrade it just for the promise of Apple intelligence because it will eventually get pushed out to those devices when it does roll out. Remember, it's usually best to upgrade based on what a company is currently offering and not on the promise of future features. However, if you have an older iPhone or even the base 15 and Apple intelligence is a feature you're really looking forward to, then upgrading to the 16 Pro Max or honestly any of the iPhone 16 series might be worth considering. Let's talk about cameras. So Apple introduced a new 48 megapixel ultra wide camera on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And so far I would say it delivers. You'll get photos with way more detail and low light performance is supposed to be improved. They've also included the ability to shoot 4K video at 120 frames per second. So if you're a content creator, this is going to be a game changer for you opening up all sorts of creative possibilities with slow motion and cinematic effects. But if you're not into that kind of stuff, then you probably won't care too much about this feature if I'm being honest. 
But overall, these are just my initial thoughts after using the iPhone 16 Pro Max for one week. It's undeniably a fantastic phone with a stunning display, incredible cameras, and fantastic battery life so far. And again, the desert titanium color is unique and elegant. And even though it's a bit heavier, I would say the phone overall still feels great in the hand. However, let's be real, all iPhones these days are pretty similar. By just upgrading to the new iOS, you might feel like you've got a brand new phone. So you don't really need to upgrade every year to enjoy the iPhone benefits. Well, I said maybe this year, if you're really interested on getting Apple intelligence, which ironically isn't even out yet. So if you have a relatively recent model, like the 14 or 15 series, I think the improvements on the 16 Pro Max might not justify the hefty price tag unless you're someone who always wants latest and greatest tech and has the budget for it. But on the other hand, if you have an older phone, like in 13 or earlier, then you'll likely see some more noticeable benefits from upgrading. And if you're looking for the absolute best iPhone experience and are willing to pay the premium, the 16 Pro Max is definitely a top contender. But just remember, these are my opinions after a week use. Your experience may vary. But that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Are you planning on upgrading? What features are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more tech-related content. But I will see you in the next one.